Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the if error function in Excel. My name is Renee Clark. What the if error function can do. The if error function is very useful because it can supplement the built-in error messages in Excel. For example, if you have a program set up for data entry by users who are not very experienced with Excel. You can use customized error messages in Excel to help them understand what to do when they encounter a problem. The syntax is equal sign if error open parenthesis followed by the first argument expression. The expression is the formula that is to be checked for an error followed by a comma, followed by the value if error and a closing parenthesis. The value if error is what will be displayed if an error is detected in the expression. If no error is detected in the expression, then the result of the expression will be displayed. This is a two required argument function. Let me demonstrate the use of if error. Here I have a spreadsheet with an error message, the pound NA symbol. It's coming up in this cell with a VLOOKUP times 12 formula. It occurs because the single option in the dental plan column is not an accurate choice you have either employee, employee plus one, or employee plus family. Single is not an accurate choice. So we want to put an if error in there to make it more clear what's wrong. So we're going to add between the equal sign and the V of the VLOOKUP the if error message. So we start with if error open paren. Now we're ready to go to the end, put a comma and I can type my message in here. I can also use the function arguments dialog box if I like. And down here, I will put in what error message I would like displayed. I don't have a very wide column, so I'm gonna put a fairly brief one. So I'm just gonna put invalid plan, and that should indicate to the data entry person that they need to pick another plan in order to get an accurate calculation click OK and it comes up and now it displays an invalid plan instead of the error messages which was not very helpful. And that way the clerk knows to come over here and put in a correct choice whether it's employee, employee plus one or employee plus family and then that message goes away. So you can see it's very useful to help people understand what's wrong when you're working in Excel. More of my lectures can be found on YouTube by searching for Renee K. Clark and then subscribing to my channel. You will find a variety of Excel lectures available as well as selected other lectures.